So I got a 14 horse Briggs. This is a, I think a 70 or 71 model engine. It's a 71 tractor. I see a lot of people have trouble with the adjustments on these. Now, when I got this tractor, this Chinese carburetor is on it. A lot of the Chinese ones will have the choke on the front instead of back there where it belongs. A lot of times you got to lengthen, put a different choke cable on. But anyway, that's here nor there. This one here is your idle speed. Okay? This is your idle mixture. Idle speed. Now, when I got this thing, they did, it wouldn't run right. It would just run wide open and stuff. And if you see the linkage back here, how it goes up. Because whenever it gives it more fuel, this rod goes up in the air. So I had to take the shaft out of the carburetor, flip it around, and then put it back on because it was clocked in there wrong. And I don't know if that was just on their part or I'm not sure how it happened, but if you have one that runs wide open, check to make sure this sticks out and be over onto the exhaust side. Because it's got to work the right way. Now, when you open the throttle up, let's see if I can see this or not. See how this comes up? A lot of times people's trying to adjust and this is up in the air like that. And usually if that's up in the air, you go right up here. Okay, that nut's sticking up in the air now, but just say if that nut was all the way down onto this piece of metal and you had this, it wouldn't go all the way closed. You would loosen this top nut. And the idea is that whenever you let off the throttle, I hope you can see this. See how that went closed? Now, if it's not going closed, Usually it's because this top nut right here. Okay, here's another thing. Just say I got this nut and it's sticking all the way up, not touching that, and this isn't going all the way down. And then I would loosen this one and tighten this one and draw more cable so it could push that governor rod down farther. So in a way, it's kind of simple because this is your low speed, this is your high speed, and this is your curb idle. Okay? So you want to adjust your idle off of this, but if it doesn't go closed when you do the throttle down, you'll have to loosen this nut up until it happens down here. And if it starts getting a gap because you don't have enough adjustment here, then you got to adjust that cable down. See where it kind of hooks in together right there. I don't know if you guys can see or not. See how the cable hooks into the rod. When on that governor, on the 14s, you got two springs. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, that's just kind of a real quick thing about um, adjusting these. This is your idle mixture. I find usually about one turn out works pretty well. Um, you may or may not have that with yours. Sometimes when you're giving it gas and it stumbles or smokes or whatever, if you've done all the adjustment you can do here, sometimes you have to adjust this in or out. And usually I found that if I'm more than a turn and a half out on mine, it doesn't, it like smokes when I try to give it fuel and stuff off of idle. Now this one here, you want to get the tractor warm, it starts out one and a half. And all that, that's not a factory setting like people say, that's just a starting point. That's just a good starting point to start adjusting. So you get it, the tractor wide open, warm, and then you can turn this out or in. And listen to the engine, because when you turn it out so far, it'll start cutting up a little bit and dropping, not running quite as smooth. The same when you go to the inside. Um, or inside when you screw it in too far 
So what you want to do is screw it out or in until you get that happy medium in between. And it should run alright. Now this one's leaking, but this engine, that's the reason this hose is coming off the breather up here. This engine's so wore out it just blows oil and compression everywhere. So.